Hey, what's up guys? Hope you're doing well. I have a little tip for you today, just something I stumbled on and thought was pretty handy, so I thought I'd share with you. Uh, let's go ahead and throw our cube into a cloner. So let's say that we want to make a string of cubes or maybe a set of stairs or something like that. Let's go ahead and take our cube and maybe flatten it out a little bit, something like that. So if we go ahead and play around with the count, you can see that it's just adding a cube based on this position value and where it is. So if we wanted to have some cubes next to each other, we'd have to go down into the position parameters and mess around with those guys again, which can get kind of annoying if you have to do this every time. Um, so there's a little thing here called mode and it's set to per step, but there's also this other one called endpoint. And if we go to the endpoint, it's gonna change the way that the, uh, the cloner count is calculated. So instead of stacking them, it's gonna fill them in between the start point and the end point. So now if we uh, increase the count, you can see it's just filling in in between those two clones instead of stacking them on top of each other, which is really handy. So then what you can basically do is have a start point and an end point, put that end one wherever you want it, and then it'll fill in between those guys. So it's a super handy little uh, feature to know about. Uh, just the way that the cloner calculates in between the different clones. So anyway, endpoint or per step, maybe that'll save you a little bit of time. All right, thanks for checking out the Pixel Lab. We'll talk to you next time.